Iranian TV airs forced confession by anti-compulsory hijab activist. On July 30th, Sapide Rashnu, a 28-year-old writer, journalist, and editor, and activist, against, activist against compulsory hijab, appeared on Iranian state-run TV, making her quote-unquote confession a few weeks after her forced disappearance. She was arrested in mid-July after a video circulated online of her being harassed by a woman on public transportation for not obeying the country's mandatory hijab laws. In the official video, Rashnu is film, filmed sitting directly in front of the camera but avoiding looking into it. Her gaunt face and body language suggested that she had been forced to say lines that appeared to have been written by authorities, and many journalists alleged they had seen marks that they can see marks of torture on her face. In the video, Sapide says she sent a video clip to Masi Alinejad, a prominent U.S.-based anti-regime and women's rights activist. Forced confessions have been a tool of the Islamic Republic since its inception in 1979, but many activists say that Rashnu's video marks a turn, as there was little attempt to hide the fact that she was put under duress. Yeah, this was a new uh, low, because the, usually when there's forced confessions by the, the state media, they make an attempt to act like it's not a forced con confession, right? So you can see the picture of her here. This was the lady that um, stood up against a religious woman in a bus because she was the religious woman in the bus told her to, you know, wear, wear her hijab properly. And that le led into a fight between her. She's, by the way, a, a, you know, a liberal anti-hijab, you know, I think she's an atheist as well. I mean, that's what I heard. Um, and she was like fighting this hijabi woman telling her to cover up and she was fighting with her and it basically led to her arrest. Okay. And she was missing for a while. And then, so this is her on the la left and then before she was arrested and this is her on the right when she on national TV in Iran, try, giving her forced confession. Right. But she didn't a lot of other girls that were involved in this incident on the bus they also gave their forced confessions but they came out they their videos came out earlier and they seemed a lot more genuine uh, well because the government actually gives them the lines and pushes them to make it seem like genuine and sepida's video was missing for a while because we were like expecting her to come out as well and people are suspecting that's because she was resisting because she seemed like she was very fiery and anti all this islamic nonsense or like a force the job or whatever um and she seemed like the reason my my the, she didn't have a video is that um, is that she's resisting and when the video came out people were like okay she's obviously being um pressured like the, like she's obviously being very heavily pressured because she looked not fine and now uh susie i don't know if you read this part or not but she's been going to the hospital because she has really she yeah because she has internal bleeding <gasps> i didn't hear about this that wasn't reported in any english media oh yeah yeah I, okay so i want to confirm this but People were uh, thinking she must have been tortured, like the video, her force. And now that there's a report that well, she's she looks been, like she's been punched in the face, too. Yeah, I don't know. I, people said that, but I wasn't like sure. But then you the report can't be came, sure, but yeah, it, yeah, something it just it looks so off. Okay. Yeah, but okay. So the difference between this video and all the other force uh, confessions that we've seen like apologizing and saying this is wrong is that the attempt of making it seem genuine seem, didn't seem to be there anymore all right like all the other ones seem like people the girls were like oh like yes i did something wrong i'm sorry blah 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 right and the acting was there even though the acting was pathetic but the acting was there with her did they, well they did you like, say even they the pro like going to hug the pro regime girl yeah, they went and yeah, the other ones like here, here, these are the other ones, right? They went and they said, like, oh, I'm so sorry, please, please give me forgiving, like Islamic forgiving. That's I don't know what the English term for that is, like, please um make me halal or whatever, right? Yeah, that's the way, right? Um, so 
Um, and it just seemed like, yeah, I'm being genuine. Yes, you were right. The religious woman was right. And we were like the evil ones. Masih Ali Nishad made us do this. And we were like, our mind was not in the right place. And people are, li are lying about you and blah, blah, blah. It's so and disgusting that that religious woman would engage with this. Yeah. It is so viscerally disgusting that she would go along with this. I like, I cannot yeah. put into words <laughs> the derision in my heart towards her, <laughs> towards this woman. Yeah, so let me see if I sorry, do you could, could you hear that? Let yeah, she removed the audio. Maybe I could find the video of the yeah, so this is the um, but the, the assumption is so there's two theories here, okay? So one theory is that maybe she didn't maybe the reason why it's so obviously obvious that she's against the she's this is a forced confession is because she's resisting so much unlike the other girls that it's just it was just impossible to make her seem like it's genuine right the other theory is that she is the regime is like doesn't give a crap anymore and they're sending a message to show that you shouldn't, you know, yeah, this is a forced confession. You know, like they're like, up, they're being open about it. They're like, yeah, this is a forced confession, so don't mess with us. This is this is going to be your, uh, this is what, this is where you're going to end up in if, um, if, if you, you oppose, us. if you cross us as well. By the way, Messi, oh, here, look, I wanted to show you this part, okay? So this is the other, these are the other uh, forced confessions. And look, the religious woman who they're fighting, she's sitting on the other side and like they're apologizing to him. It's so stupid, like, right? Like she's, she's sitting there like thinking like, yes, yeah, see, I told you. Because she was, she's right. She like did. the religious, she religious person on the bus when she was recording them, she was like, I'm gonna send this to the armed forces. I'm gonna like ruin you with this, right? And, and she now did. she's like, and yeah, she did. Like all of these women, all of them were arrested, and she's sitting there smirking, like, "Look what I did to you! Look at mm -hmm. the power I have! Like you have Masih Alinejad, I have the army, and you it are all screwed." Really disgusting. I am. You are all screwed. Like I told you not to cross me. I told. I warned you not to cross me. Right. By the way, Masih Alinejad did a parody of this, like she's doing her own forced confession. <laughs> this is kind of dark humor. She, did she was do like it recently or a while ago. No, no, she did this in response to this. <laughs> she, she's <laughs> like, there was a part of the sketch, like the guy from That's the other actually side, pretty clever. The guy from the other side was asking her, like, if you were the judge, how would you, what would, what do you think would be a just, um, you know, what is it called? What's a ruling? For, what yeah. is just ruling for you? And she's like, I'm a woman. I'm not supposed to be giving out rulings. Of course, like the women are not supposed to be judges. How could I answer that question? <laughs> clever for those so, who don't I, know the guy who she's across from in this i mean obviously they clipped him into this right this isn't real yeah. but he's like a quote-unquote journalist but really he's an interrogator yes yes journalist that, interrogator. that that's part of the that's taken from the interview with um ruha lazam this was his interview with mm -hmm. ruha lazam and anyways i want to show you can i show you this part this is like Anyway, so what? Sepide might be hospitalized if the reports are true um, because of internal bleeding, which means that she was like the reports of torture are actually true if that's the case, right? Mm -hmm. But I want to show you this part. Let me. So, what you're going to see is this is a propaganda ad uh, by the Islamic Republic of Iran, okay? So, and the key thing here is that they're using bad hijabi woman like women without people so it's, it's 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 showing how far the islamic republic is going because usually in their propaganda they use women that have really proper islamic attire right but the fact that they're using women with high heels and hijab that is like not fully covered shows that this is a new the, the extra length that they're going with right so you see this guy in a wheelchair right 
and the guy sees somebody in green like this is muharram right during muharram and he the guy sees somebody with the green i don't know what is it called in english a head covering uh, supposedly like this is like i don't know imam mehdi or hussein or whatever right so he sees him right he, like he's, he's just the mehdi he, I don't know. He sees like, I don't know. I don't, he's going to jump out of that wheelchair when he sees the man. So, yeah. So it basically heals him and he just walks out of the chair. Oh my You're God. Like, like, oh, like, yeah, he's paralyzed. But because he just saw Mahdi during Muharram, he just walks in like his, like, now, like, she's like, oh, look. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Like she just drops Falls her to knees. her knees. And like that little one, oh, drops the tea. Like, oh no, what happened? <laughs> like it's a miracle. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, what the? Like, oh, oh, they're they religious now. Like, like, they, <laughs> they're like, how did this happen? <laughs> this is their fantasy. I think this is their fantasy. All these, like, they see all these girls with like makeup and like not very uh, proper hijab, and they're like, I wish they could see something that will guide them bring it bring them to our side because i think they lust over them as well and I, mm -hmm. they think like it would they wish they, they they were one of them and they're like they're like this ad is one of their fantasy and like look look they're seeing this miracle and now they're on our side like, i don't know <laughs> so ridiculous um yeah. i thought this story about rational was important to cover because we've been talking about the no to hijab protests that have been happening to iran and how it's so important like it's about so much more than just what i put on my head it this this movement that's going on in iran right now that really took off in july 12th um is a truly about the government's the fascist government's ability to enforce their authority and clamp down on you in every aspect of your life because if they can force what you put on your head then they can force you to do other things as well so women challenging compulsory hijab is also about challenging the very authority and legitimacy of this government itself right so it's 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 actually going straight to the heart of the islamic republic itself and um I wanted to talk about this because that movement itself is very important. And then this, this incident that happened with Sepide was one of the most viral, consequential incidents that happened in the recent spate of anti-hijab protests. And it also goes to the regime's tactics of forced confessions. And so I thought it was really important for our audience to get a follow-up to see what's happening. Yeah, so here's a, here's a report about the most recent update on what I was just saying. So yeah, I was right. Detained hijab uh, protester beaten into forced confession, confession. So here, an anti-hijab protester whose forced confessions was aired on state-run television last week had been so brutally beaten before the telecast that she was suffering from internal bleeding. So that's what the hospital report shows. So when you watching her, here so this is her before the beating this is her after the beating so when you're watching her she this is after she came from the hospital from the internal bleedings from her beating so people weren't imagining the fact that she was beaten she was actually beaten so badly that she had internal beatings that's what i was talking to babak about like he was like this is what's different about the Susie. is they're, they're showing the torture this time they're yeah. showing how bad she's doing physically this time. They don't care anymore. They, they I don't, don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's because they don't care anymore or it's because it was just difficult. This time it was just too difficult to hide. I don't know which one it is true. Mm. Yeah. I guess that's a good point. But the message either way is very clear. Yes. The message either way is very clear. And um, but, someone in the live chat was so commenting... Yeah, go ahead someone in the live chat was commenting like oh how much do like iranians actually believe this do they believe the forced confession oh yeah here we go shriash is asking do iranians ever believe it when they make it look like it's not a forced confession that's a good question armin i know Depends. that it's, it's gotten to the point where the forced confessions are basically openly mocked to a certain degree like this aspect of the state apparatus is mocked because it's so um it's, it's so farcical, but 
that doesn't mean the people are mocking the people who go through this or they're mo mocking like how dangerous and traumatizing this is itself. They're mocking the state for taking these measures that are obviously so cartoonishly barbaric. But um, how much do you think people actually buy into what people who are forced into confession say? I think most people don't believe it, I think, right? Uh, and I think like, I would, I mean, data st stats seem to suggest that the support for regime is around 20%, okay? Yeah. So, and I think if there's anybody who believes this is part of that 20%, but I I don't, I'm not sure even if even the 20% believe this, right? But what mm -hmm. I know about this one is that even some pro-regime people were disgusted by this. Like this was too much. Like there are forced conversions that they had before where people like seem like they were just like throwing themselves at the, you know, like, oh yeah, we are still something wrong. Thank you for showing us the way. And like, yeah, maybe it could pass. This one was so bad that that pro-regime people are like, hey, now what the hell? Like this it's is really like, brutal this to is see gross. that happen to a young woman. Yeah. Like, and also it's like, it's not just about what they did. Like, it's also about like the fact that you're making it seem like it's something else, right? You, you tortured this woman and you're making it seem like it's that she's come, you know, um, willingly coming out and like, but, but she, by the way, you cannot see the difference. Like if you watch the video on her bus and how fiery she was and how like strong and assertive she was. And then on the, on the news, when how broken like it just seems like completely two different people right like it just seems like this is not the same person like they they didn't they didn't just break her bones it's like they just break broke her spirit like she seemed like she's like just tell me whatever you want just tell me what you want me to say like she's just like she's been she doesn't seem like somebody that would submit so easily that's why the other women were their videos came out easy earlier and they weren't beaten she seemed like she was like somebody who would resist. She's so anti-regime or so anti, you know, these values that you had, this is what was required for her to say these things. And you could see that they got, to, they, they managed to get to her eventually because, she, you know, anyways. The depths uh, of what you have to do to someone to break someone to that point is really, really horrific because I've done a lot of research, like as a hobby into what goes into these kinds of things. It's, I don't have words for it. Yeah. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below, because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.